Let me show you what you need here. Of course, I've taken some fresh tomatoes and I've put them in a processor. Puree them down. Then what you can do is you can take your nice little strainer and strain all the pulp that comes from it after you pour in to get the nice good tomato sauce. And look here, now we have our own tomato paste, guys. But what we wanted was that, that nice good juice and all of that from the tomato to really get that nice fresh flavor in tomato basil soup. All right, so we're gonna start off by melting our butter here. Then we're gonna add in the minced garlic. And see, a lot of times what people do is when they're making soups, sauces, they put all the liquid in first and then go to dropping in all of their raw ingredients. See, you want those raw ingredients to touch the oil or your butter, whatever you're cooking with, first, so that those flavors start to really cook down in. So now that we have our garlic going here, which is very good, we're gonna add a little of our oregano and thyme to our garlic. As we're blending those herbs in, getting them together, now what we're gonna do is, guys, we're gonna add in our flour here. The same as if you were making a traditional roux. You know, you use your butter, your oil, your flour. This one right here, we're using a nice good butter to balance it out with our garlic and all our herb. As we're cooking our flour off, now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna add in our chicken stock, guys. Add in chicken stock. And you know, some people, depending on if they're want their soup to just be just straight vegetarian, then you can use a vegetable stock. We're gonna add in our onion powder here. 